Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be so hard. Oh, take me back to the start. What's good? It's your girl back at it again for another video. Welcome to Taurus season. Well, we're like well into Taurus season, but welcome anyway. So I already did my face and I just feel like for the most part, it's always the same. So I'm just gonna skip that step. I did my eyebrows too. Kept it real light and glowy like we always do, you know? So now moving on to the eyes. Put my primer on. I'm gonna start off with like a, like a charcoal gray. So to make sure that all the colors work pretty well in the crease and don't bunch up, I'm just gonna run some of my face powder through the crease. And these days, instead of using just like a regular eyeshadow primer, I've been using glitter glue, cause I've mentioned this before, but anything that I use on my eyes, well not anything, but a lot of eyeshadows that I use on my eyes have been creasing. And it's not necessarily the eyeshadows, I think it's just my eyelids. So glitter glue has been holding down the fort for now, but um, yeah, that's really what I've been using for that. So because of it, it's really sticky and I feel like I need to put some powder through. I'm gonna take a little flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna start off actually with a matte charcoal gray, just that's a little bit lighter than the one that I was going to use. And I'm just gonna start off with putting that on the lid very carefully to set down a base. I haven't really come across very many in my life um, so I'm not too familiar with Taurus um, as much as I am with like Pisces or Libra or something like that, but just from what I've read about Tauruses and the ones that I do know how they are, they're very grounded people in the sense of like down to earth, very logical, very strong, strong willed to um, just solid people and one of my good friends is a Taurus and she's just lovely, very caring, you know, hard worker, all of that. So, you know, when I make these, uh, what are they called, Zodiac videos, for the most part, we're speaking on generalizations, right? So just because someone's uh, Gemini doesn't mean that they're going to be wild, you know? Um, I've seen a lot of stuff online about like how people will genuinely not interact with someone if they're like a Scorpio. My friend actually, there's this one girl who said, you're a Capricorn and I'm a Gemini, so we're not gonna get along. It's like, <laughs> what? What? Listen, take this with a grain of salt, okay? Just, <laughs> I, I do believe in astrology and I do believe that the moon affects us placements in the cosmos will affect us and especially when we're born I think that has significance you know a lot of people don't believe in that and that's fine but if you're somebody who is into astrology and you wouldn't interact with somebody because of your presumption of how said person's sign is please Please reevaluate, <laughs> assess, and reel it in because that's just really silly. So I had to make that little PSA. Anyways, uh, Taurus season. So what will Taurus season bring? Well, I couldn't really tell you. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> anything goes nowadays and it's just a mixed bag, but it's very emotional. And I feel like now you know, with all the initial madness that had happened in this global situation. Now we're just, it's not like we're starting to settle down because that's not what I'm trying to say. But I think now it's like, okay, this is the situation. How do we go forward? You know, and that's what I feel like that the sort of vibe, I guess, God, if we vibe, we vibe. No, but that's the feeling that I get for this Taurus season. I feel like so far, you know, it's been just kind of like 
All right, so this is where we're at. Let's, how do we, how do we go on? How do we uh, communicate with our family and friends more effectively? How do we, you know, interact with ourselves more effectively? How do we perceive the situation effectively? And effectively, I'm not, I'm not saying that there has to be some kind of solution, but in the sense of how your perception will affect the way that you view the situation. You know, we can't control the external circumstances. We can't control what's going on in the world. We just can't. What is in your own power to control? You know, you can control the way you choose to react to things. You can get angry, you can get irate. Those are the same word, <laughs> but you can get really mad about it and make a big fuss and be like, I want my life back. Or trying to focus on taking care of yourself, taking care of the people around you, taking care of other people, you know, being kind to other people. I feel like that's really important because we're seeing so much shit. If, okay, this I'm not going to get too into it because I could just save that for another video. I don't want this to be too... <laughs> melancholy but basically what i'm trying to say is that this it is what you make of it right so that's something that i'm working on and you know uh it's been it's been rough you know it's not it's just not easy but who said it was going to be right nobody said it was easy no one ever said it would be so hard oh take me back to the start when we were nomads in the mountains minding our own business roaming the plains just eating berries and swimming in creeks <laughs> TBT to the Paleolithic era. <laughs> okay, enough tomfoolery. <sighs> Let's get back into the professional mode. Uh, okay, so I put that shadow on. Honestly, I really like the way that looks as it is. Uh, I will take, so let me show you the colors that I'm using. So I put this one all over my lid, and now I'm gonna take this darker color right here. I think I'm gonna put this at the base of my lash line and kind of smudge it smudge it upwards towards the tail end of my eyebrow so it's kind of like a very light smoky eye that i'm doing i don't think i've worked with sort of grayish charcoal colors yet so this is nice and these particular colors are from colourpop and colourpop eyeshadows are really nice to work with they're just very smooth the mattes are always pleasant to work with, you know, they don't really bunch or crease or anything like that. And I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now, taking that same fluffy brush that I used before with the face powder, and I'm just gonna put that, run that through the edges, and then adjust wherever I feel like I need to. So, I'm going into the Rowan 1111 palette. I've heard a lot of hype about this and I was interested in trying it. I'm gonna take this color right here and put this on my ring finger. I find that these shadows work the best with your fingers and that's how they're recommended to be used because they will give off the most like texture and sparkle if you use the warmth of your fingers with it. So that's what we're doing and I'm just gonna tap that all over the lid. created just like a nice bit of sparkle and sheen. I really like these eyeshadows and I definitely see the hype about these palettes. They're just, they're weird. They're really weird. They're kind of almost like waxy to the touch, but then when you put them on the lids and you build them up, you can really create a like uh, <laughs> glossier girl editorial, really sparkly, chunky, how many more adjectives can I insert in this sentence type of eye. I'm gonna fix the lower lash line a little bit because some of this shadow had fallen down and I'm going to put a cat eye liquid liner, mascara, and then I'll be right back. All right, we are back. 
here is the end result with the eye makeup just like a little bit of smokiness you know it's no big deal nothing major but i really like the way it came out i feel like it's very striking you know now we move on to the rest of the face and to start i'm just gonna put some bronzer on put this around my face a little bit on the nose as well Now for the cream blush, I'm going to use this one from Fenty. This is the Rosé Latte. Rosé Latte. I'm about to dive in. I'm going to take away some of the excess on the back of my hand because I don't know how pigmented this is going to be. But yeah. let's see. And now for the highlighter. I'm kind of using contradicting color tones because the eyes are relatively cool but then on the face I'm using more warm tones anyways whatever I'm using this highlighter from Fenty in Hustla Baby which is like this nice goldeny tone so I kind of shouldn't have done that because this gold clashes a little bit with the eye look but you know what? You live and you learn. Okay, this is the fit. So I'm wearing this dress. I'm trying to get as far back in frame as I can. It's quite interesting because there's these little sections of cloth that are cut up. So when you walk, it creates this little bit of swishy movement. It's almost like some giant scissors were taken and just cut upwards. And I like this color too, I feel like. It's a very earthy kind of color. Perfect for earthy Tauruses. So I've got that dress. My bag is this one. I've had this since I was a kid, but it's just this little satchel. Is that what it's called? Satchel bag? It's a small bag, but it's kind of in that same warm color family that I'm working with. And then for the shoes, I'm wearing these green kitten heels. I've shown them, I think, on my channel before, but I think that they go well with this dress. It's more of a brighter green, and this is more of a darker green. But... It still is in that same color family, so it all, in my opinion, works nicely together. And my accessories are the usual ones that I always have. Got a couple of brass bracelets on. Basically, the color story for my jewelry is copper, uh, gold tones, brassy tones, just warm tones to summarize. And so that is Taurus season. That's my look. Let me give you a little fashion show runway catwalk. Okay, so <laughs> that's that on that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next one. Ciao.